everyone, welcome to this unboxing with Yoseka Stationery. Today's unboxing, we are going to be talking about something I love. It is the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, so this is a sort of part three to our uh, series of Hobonichi walkthroughs that Ashley kicked off with the Hobonichi Techo planner um, and the Hobonichi Techo cousin and I'm going to be doing the Hobonichi Weeks because this is a planner that I have actually been using uh, this past year in 2022 and I've really been enjoying it and I'm excited to show everyone why I love it so much. So um, for anyone who doesn't know, the Hobonichi Weeks is different from the Techo original slash Techo planner and the Techo cousin because it is actually, it's not a one day, one page format. It is actually a weekly format. So it is a much thinner book than the A6 and the cousin because it doesn't need all of those 365 pages for the one page a day format. Um, it also comes in this different sort of unique size. It is a, it's neither A6 nor A5. It's not really B6 or B5. It is, they call it a slim wallet size because it is actually around the size of like a wallet that you would, you know, use to keep your credit cards and your cash in. Um, and it's really convenient because it does fit in your hand like this. And it also fits into, um, if you wear like a suit jacket or something, it fits into like that inner pocket and it might even fit into some people's back pockets as well. Um, and it fits really easily in like a bag that you would carry around with you every day. It's lightweight and portable. So it is a very travel friendly, um, portable planner. Uh, if you're thinking about like the cousin, it's a lot more compact than that. Um, something else that makes the Hobonichi Weeks unique from the other planners is that um, for the Hobonichi Weeks, you are actually choosing from cover designs that are on the cover themselves. So the design is the cover and you don't have to purchase a separate cover as you would with the A6 and the A5 versions. So. Um, I have here in front of me just some examples, like three different cover styles from um, these recent years. This is like the white line on black, which is a recurring style that we see every year with Hobonichi Weeks. Uh, this is the 365 Days cover, and then this is the Bow and Tie Bunnies cover, which is for 2023. And actually, each of these covers is a different sort of feeling. So there is this sort of um, vegan leather sort of feel to this one and the bow and tie ones use a fabric that is sort of silky similar to bow ties like suits uh, suit ties and then this one is more of a like a plasticky feeling cover that's like very easy. It would be very easy to like polish this one off if you got it dirty and it's glossy too. Um, so this is just an example of some of the different Hobonichi cover styles and there's actually even more materials and covers that you can choose from for Hobonichi Weeks. Something else that's important to know about Hobonichi Weeks is that there is also a Hobonichi Weeks and there's a Hobonichi Weeks Mega. To explain the differences between them, we have to go into a little bit about what you find inside a Hobonichi Weeks. So as I was saying before, the main layout of the Hobonichi Weeks is a weekly layout. Um, you get, you do get, of course, the monthly layout at the beginning of the book, but most of the book is actually weekly pages. So you have a weekly sort of horizontal layout um, for each of the days of the week on the left hand side of the page and on the right hand side of the page you have a blank grid for you to write notes on or for you to extend your weekly format onto and then in the back of every hobonichi weeks you actually get a whole bunch of grid pages so it's actually like um, the pages are numbered it's like 70 
70 blank grid pages in the regular Hobonichi week, so that's actually quite a bit of note-taking paper for you to use if you carry this notebook around with you, um, this planner around with you, you could use it as a notebook. And the Hobonichi Weeks Mega actually gives you even more pages. So I think it's like over 100, maybe 170 or so uh, blank, grid pla blank grid pages for you to use at the back of the Weeks Mega. So the Weeks Mega is thicker than the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, and it's actually a little bit more narrow, but otherwise they are very, very similar and nearly identical if you were just looking at them. Um, so that's sort of the Hobonichi Weeks and the Hobonichi Weeks Mega, and we'll be taking a closer look at the inside of each of the Hobonichi Weeks and seeing what you will find when you are using and flipping through the pages of a Hobonichi Weeks. So let's do that. Okay. So this is the cover of the Hobonichi Weeks Bow and Tie Bunnies. And um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there are actually these like vertical striations in the fabric that really make it feel like it is a, a tie fabric. Um, so that's what you get on the cover. And it is like a, these Hobonichi Weeks are, um, Flexible hard covers, I like to call them. So they are kind of, they're pretty hard to ding up in your bag, but they're also not super rigid. So they have some flexibility, which is really nice and why um, they feel fine to carry around in your pocket or in your, uh, in your bag. Something that I do want to point out is actually these bookmark tassels. These are features that you find in the Hobonichi Weeks that you don't find in the A6 and the Cousin. And um, two things that like I think have really, really added to the functionality of my planner this past year and really um, helped me to use my planner because you just get to flip open to the page that you're looking for. And it is, it's really surprising what a big difference that makes when you are just trying to write something down real quick these page markers these bookmarks make a huge difference so that is the feature on the Hobonichi weeks that I uh, have really fallen in love with this year something else that you get with the Hobonichi weeks that you don't get with the other planners is this adhesive um, back pocket flap and this is something that you get tucked into your Hobonichi weeks and you have to paste it on to your planner on your own. So it doesn't come pasted on over here, but um, you have to do it yourself. And you can see, this is the one that I've been using this year. And you can see that I love to keep like little stickers back here. So it does hold some, not, not a lot, but um, it holds, some little stationaries very conveniently in the back of your planner for you. Okay, so let's open up the Hobonichi Weeks and take a peek inside. Um, so the very first sort of planner page that you see when you are flipping through your Hobonichi Weeks is the year at a glance. And this is pretty convenient because you actually get three calendar views of three years. So you have, um, and this is the 2023 calendar. So 2023 is over here, and then you have the last year, 2022, and then 2024 as well. So you can see all four of these, which is pretty convenient for just like at a glance. The next page is something that, well, actually like lots of planners have this, but I think it's poorly, um, poorly understood. But what this page is, is actually um, it features every single day of the year on this page, on these two pages over here. So from January 1st all the way to December 31st and it color codes for the weekends, for Saturdays and Sundays too. So this is good for things like tracking um, or like habit tracking. I think this page is pretty good for, um, and then you can also write in these spaces up here for, um, I don't know, any special things for this particular month of the year. And then as you flip forward, this is the monthly view. It starts, the 2023 version starts with December 2022 for the monthly view. And you obviously get um, a monthly view for every month in 2023, all the way actually up to, it goes into 2024. Um, 
So let's look, November, December, January, February, and March. So it actually goes quite far. It goes into March, 2024. So you can keep track of some appointments and events all the way up to March, 2024. The monthly view um, is pretty standard. It is a block monthly view and you have some space on the side um, the whole page has this grid um, so you are able to write lots of things and make the most use out of the the perimeter space around the monthly view and then on the bottom of the month you're actually given these like four check boxes so you can write sort of large goals or like long-term goals you have for the month or like monthly highlights or you know whatever you want to write in there um, and a theme of the hobonichi is that they color code the weekends so saturday and sunday saturday is grayed out and sunday has sort of this like orange vermilion color to it okay so that's the monthly view and so far we're only just a few pages into the planner very thin and you flip the page and it actually starts with the last week of november going into the first week of december 2022 and this is what the um format of the weekly format looks like so um on the left hand side of the page you have from monday to sunday a uh, little horizontal uh, weekly layout where you can write in each day over here and this is blank so it's not gridded on this side over here um, but on the right side you have a blank grid page that is that can act as an extension for this day say you're writing on the 28th you can continue it over here which is what I often do or you can use this whole page as its own thing completely. Um, what is different about the Hobonichi Weeks grid and it's unique from the A6 and the A5 is that it's a smaller grid. I'm guessing it's to accommodate for the smaller room on the page that you have, but it's actually a 3.5, around a three and a half, really to be exact, 3.55 millimeter grid on the page over here. And um, it is a dotted grid or like a uh, hash marked grid. Um, so that's something to note if you have bigger handwriting, maybe this planner is not the best for you, or if you don't mind writing outside of the grid, then that's not gonna be a problem. Um, so looking at each of these weekly boxes, um, we see a big blank box for you to write in however you would like. And then there's also these dots going down the page over here on this side and dots over here. And what these are meant to do is actually, if you were to connect all of these dots going down the page, you're able to divide your Monday over here and your days throughout the week into one, two, three boxes for you to use uh, to break your day up into three. So basically morning, afternoon, and evening. So you are able to do that with these subtle little dots, but the reason they're subtle as with many planner designs is that you could theoretically just really ignore those dots and not use them at all which I don't really use them um, but if you wanted to you could make your day super uh, organized and um, really break your day up into those boxes with these dots and you can also do just like a two-third and one-third space too if you wanted to break the space up in that way on the right hand side here is this um, big blank grid page and it is a pretty open space for you to use however you would like um, but I think most people often use it as an extension to what they're writing on this side over here and then there is sort of this one line that is more prominent. Hobonichi actually calls this line the secret line and this is because it is a very very subtle line so you could ignore it and not do anything with it or you could use this as a margin to sort of break up this space like if you 
you wanted to track your sleeping or your workout or your meals, you could write in a little margin over here and then write on the right hand of that secret line. So that's sort of an explanation of this weekly page. Um, You'll see here also that there is a quote on the bottom of the page here. And this is something that Hobonichi is known well for. And um, it is they on their one day of page planners, you get a daily quote and they do the same thing on the weekly. So you get a quote for the week. And I'm really excited because the Hobonichi weeks this year for the first time ever is actually in English. So this quote for the first time has been translated into English for those who use the Hobonichi weeks and want to follow along with the quotes. Um, on each page, you also get the moon phases, the day of the week, as well as the dates, obviously, and the, di and the weeks are actually numbered within the year. So this would be the 48th week of the year, the 49th week of the year, and then obviously when you get to the December or the January, it is the first week of the year. So that is sort of a look at the bulk of the Hobonichi weeks. Most of the planner pages are these weekly pages. Um, and something else I want to point out is actually this index. So um, each of the months is numbered and coded with this index. So you could sort of flip easily to um, the month that you're looking for as you are using your planner. Okay, so that is a look at the weekly pages. And then flipping through more, we have the, the grid note section. So this is actually what those grid notes look like. It carries over that same secret line. Um, and all of the pages are actually numbered on this note section back here. And you have this first page over here that's titled notes. And that's for you to create sort of like a table of contents or like an index for you to be able to look back on. So say you were devoting these pages one and two to tracking a certain thing, then later on you can write pages one to two subject tracking meals, tracking um, health. Um, I have been tracking, for example, like uh, ink colors in my planner and so I would use that to say like on pages one to 10, I have been tracking my ink colors on that page. Um, it's kind of useful because they also have these little um, useful abbreviations for you to use as you're writing in because they are aware that this is a smaller planner that you kind of have to make the most of the space on the page. So you might be using some more abbreviations in your writing. Okay, so you get 74 of these blank grid pages for you to use however you would like. And then in the back, Hobonichi always has these sort of interesting extra pages that are useful or try like trying to be useful. Like this one is really, really hilarious. They did this last year and I just thought it was, um, I'm not like, please comment if you actually use this page because I just think this is hilarious, but it's for using things around you to measure size. So you are meant to measure the distance between your thumb and your pointer finger. And so I would do that and write in, this is about 15 and I would write in 15 here so that throughout the year, I know I can measure things with this distance and it's 15 centimeters. So I think that's hilarious. And you can do that with your wing span or your stride or the size of your foot. Um, so I love that. I love that Hobonichi thought of that. And then they give you some sizes of common items too for all of us who are constantly measuring things. And then there's also um, a little ruler on the side of this page too. Um, on the back this year, there is also a favorites. So you can keep track of some of your favorites and you can keep track of, it can be like movies, books, um, music, 
um, meals, shopping, any of those, and you can kind of give yourself a little rating system. So I think this is a really cute one. Um, then Hobonichi always has the My, My 100 list where you can really make a list of 100 things, whatever you would like. Um, and keep track of them throughout the year. It could be 100 things you want to do, 100 things you have done, and they have these little tick marks for you to tick things off as you go along. Um, I kind of love this. My favorite things for you to write in, it's like a list of uh, prompts for you to write in your favorite book, your favorite music, um, favorite when, way to spend a day off. I, I really uh, like to think about this list. I think it's a cute list. Um, I love this one, how to better enjoy a conversation. Just a little, it gives you some light reading to do in the back of your Hobonichi this year as well. Um, there's a 365 days check off sheet um, for you to check something off. You can also color code like every fifth day you did this thing or every 10th day um, you went for a walk or something like that. Then there's a brief address book section, um, a place for you to write in your contact information if you, God forbid, lose your planner. That sounds like a nightmare to me. Um, and then on the back of every Hobonichi Techo, uh, every Hobonichi planner has a serial number um, for your record keeping and in case anything is up with your planner, you can actually always uh, contact Hobonichi and they keep a record of all of the uh, serial numbers. Okay, so there you have it. Um, that was a little walk through, a little flip through the pages of the 2023 Hobonichi Weeks, which is available in English this year for the the first time ever. Um, I have been using this planner this past year and I've really been enjoying it. This is actually the planner that I've been using this year um, for tracking Jacob and all of his accomplishments and his progress, his highlights, and I've really been loving it in that way. I think it's a great convenient size. Um, often we get asked from people if this is my first year using Hobonichi where should I start? Where should I enter? And I think between either the A6 or the weeks, um, you have some really great options. I think that this is a good planner for uh, someone who is maybe new to planning and doesn't exactly have a ton of things to write down every day so they don't maybe need all the space of a whole page. I think this is a great planner for somebody who is looking for a planner to just bring around with them every day in their bag or their backpack or just slip into their back pocket. So I think this is a really good choice for um, anyone like that. Um, let me know in the comments if you've been using this planner and if you're a really big fan of it too, how you use yours um, and what your favorite cover designs are this year. I, there are some really good ones. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned about the Hobonichi Weeks and why I love it so much. Thank you. Bye.